The Whirlwind's flight control surfaces are operated by single push-pull tubes connected via universal joints. The elevator and rudder trimming gear are operated via a chain and double cable arrangement. The elevator differential gear as described in part 1 acted as a torque multiplier enabling the pilot to apply enough manual force to move the large and heavy elevator. The rudder operation was by direct force from the centre pivot rudder bar attached to a lever arm. A series of control push-pull tubes connected to the off-centre rudder hinge provided the force to move the rudder. Both the rudder and elevator control tubes are supported in double concave roller blocks in the fuselage and the lower fin. The rudder trimming gear is located in the lower fin forward of the tailwheel bay, a complex component operated by a blaze control handle in the cockpit, a chain wheel connected to pull-pull cables is also connected to the trimmer gear chain wheel. The chain wheel was fixed to a threaded bush supported by ball bearings. The bush when revolved moved a threaded trunnion shaft. The trunnion housed a sliding pivot attached to a small bell crank to which the trim tab push rod was connected. The operating cables of both rudder and elevator trimming mechanisms are supported in grooved double roller blocks. The elevator rollers being offset fore and aft to allow the cable to turn through 90 degrees and maintain cable separation. The lower section of the fin forms the tailwheel bay. The hydraulic action of the undercarriage strut when lowered and retracted provides a mechanism to open and close the undercarriage doors. The doors also provide the aerodynamic profile for the lower fin and fuselage. The undercarriage doors are of a double skin construction connected to the undercarriage strut by pivoting tie rods working through trunnion blocks and brackets fixed to the inner door skin. The adjustable tie rods provide an over centre movement on opening allowing a slight lead on the overlapping door over the trailing door. The door hinges are a complex component due to the compound curvature of the lower fin. The hinges not only rotate the doors but also swing them outwards to clear the profile curvature of the fin. The curvature of the doors and fin prevent a flat hinge line. Careful machining of the hinge bases to match the curvature and provide a straight hinge line being required. A complex time consuming and expensive operation compared to the non retracting tail wheels of the whirlwind's contemporaries. The complex mechanical arrangement of the undercarriage doors operated by the hydraulic deployment and retraction of the tail wheel oleo leg. The forming of the fin nose skin required the manufacture of a very large wood forming block. The former being used as the top block of a stretch frame utilizing hydraulic jacks and self tightening grippers to stretch the nose skin into its variable taping aerofoil form. A very expensive process for a one off component. A great deal of additional work on the rudder, fin top and tailplane itself 
has been necessary before the lower fin left the workshop for fitting to the fuselage. Just some images to illustrate the work undertaken with the full details in part 3. The lower fin fitted to the fuselage at the museum. 80 countersunk and hex head bolts being required to connect the fin to the fuselage. Trimming gear cables fed through the fuselage to the cockpit await future connection when the elevator and rudder are fitted. Elevator push pull tube connected to the flight control tubes working from the control column in the cockpit. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity dedicated to the reconstruction of this iconic World War II fighter. If you feel you could assist in helping to fund the project or to become a member please visit our website for details. Also please visit our partner in the project and home to Whirlwind P7056 the Kent Battle of Britain Museum Trust at Hawkinge. Please keep a look out for our future engineering videos on the manufacture of P7056. Many thanks for watching and thanks to all our supporters.